What's up everybody, this is the Classic Tycoon here, and we are back um, for another episode of basically a how to build uh, guide, and today we're going to do a looping roller coaster. Now, I highly recommend you install the toolkit here, that's where I'm going into the ride designer there at the top right, okay, I think it costs a little bit of money, it's not too much though. But um, yeah, so like I said, we're going to do a looping roller coaster today, so let's find one of those. Um, got a whole bunch of pre-built designs here. These are actually pretty good. You can look through these and get some ideas for your own roller coasters. But um, let me show you kind of how I think when I'm building a looping roller coaster. Okay, so I'm going to start out by raising the, uh, the station platform to 10 feet. And... Another thing I probably need to show you guys is how to change your um, your units to feet. And if you go down here to where it says height markers, it says real or units. If you if you're, I think the preset is units. And so you can see right now it's set on units, and I don't like units as much. The uh, when you played the original Roller Coaster Tycoon or Roller Coaster Tycoon Two, it was usually set in real feet. So. At least I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, that's how I always played it anyways. So I'm going to build the first hill up to 65 feet. Okay. This is going to be a fairly small roller coaster. I'm going to do a banked turn here. And we're going to go immediately into two loops. You usually are going to want about a 65 foot hill um, in order to make these first loops. I think. It might even be like 45 feet will make the loops, but very slowly. After that, I'm going to go into a 45 foot hill um, to make sure that this roller coaster loses some momentum from that first initial big drop. I'm going to do another banked turn here, make sure that you give yourself room for it to fit, um, and then another banked turn, uh, banked hill incline through the loop. Um, which is something I like to do pretty often when I build these looping roller coasters. And then just make sure all of these turns are banked, okay? Um, I put a, a uh, ride photo section right there because I needed one more space in order to begin my next hill. So I might as well just put in something right there so I did an on-ride photo section. That will increase the amount of money that you can make on a ride um, quite significantly when you do that. Now, I thought about making this roller coaster a little bit longer, but I actually think that this is pretty good right here. So I'm going to just finish it up. Um, I could definitely, this roller coaster is going to have momentum. You could definitely make this a little bit longer, but I'm just going to finish it up. So I'm going to do a 15 foot. Uh, hill right here just with the you know not so steep hills I'm gonna have to do a small helix in order to um, lower this back down to 10 feet and then always make sure to put in or almost always make sure to put in your block brakes um, at the end that allow you to have two trains that won't crash into each other if the brakes malfunction in the station platform Okay, um, let's go ahead and watch this thing test. I mentioned before you can change the speed of your hill lift by going into the settings for your ride if, um, if you feel like your roller coaster is going too slow. So it makes these loops just fine and then up over the 45 foot hill goes through the two loops up over the 25 foot hill and it's got you can see plenty of momentum but you know pretty solid little roller coaster right here I I like this design all right it's done testing let's go ahead and check out our ratings here nothing in the red 5.85 excitement rating so and a 6.16 intensity rating it's pretty standard for one of these looping roller coasters. Now let's talk about how to increase that excitement rating. With nothing around, this thing, um, 
this is the absolute bare bones of your excitement rating. But let's see what happens just when we add some queue lines along the station platform. So we'll insert this queue line. We'll also insert the exit line here. There we go. So we got a basic entrance and exit line. And let's see if this affected the excitement rating at all of the roller coaster. Right there, you can see it's already gone up, 5.92. And um, now let's go into our scenery and just add a bunch of trees around. Okay. Now with those queue lines, um, you can see that's why a lot of times I'll, uh, I'll build the station platform, you know, or um, I'll build the queue line going along the station platform, because if you build it straight out, I don't think you really get the same effect. So I'm just going to put a bunch of trees in here. I'm not sure if varieties of trees affect the excitement rating any differently. I don't think variety matters. So I just grabbed a random tree and I'm dispersing them throughout this thing. So that should probably be good. Let's check out the excitement rating again. 6.05 so you can see that's already raised that excitement rating by 0.2 and that's going to let you um, make the roller coaster more expensive so you can save your design if you go in here and you select nearby scenery um, you can actually take along all the scenery that you would like um, to go with you and this is only in the ride design uh, scenario uh, ride design editor whatever it's called um, in the toolkit but it's kind of nice because then you can just add these to your park and include all the scenery so you get the exact um, ratings that you got inside of here and there you have it guys um, if you don't rename the roller coaster in here then I, I think that when you save your design it would go in as looping roller coaster one which would be kind of lame so make sure that you rename your roller coasters inside the toolkit you can always go into the paint brush here and change all of any of these colors that you would want here okay so i'm just actually kind of doing some random colors right here and then changing the entrance again i just selected a random one so there you go. Kind of a hideous roller coaster there, but it's a pretty decent design. And I hope you guys got some ideas for your own looping roller coaster designs um, in here. If you guys have any roller coasters that you would like me to do a tutorial on, uh, please just give me a comment in the comment sections. If this helped you out, please give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys in the next video.